Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit, and you are watching MEP Technical World. So in this video, we'll discuss about working and construction of contractor. Okay. So before I start this session, I would like to request you please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos. Okay. So let's get started. So basically, what is contractor? So a contractor is an electrical device which is used for switching an electrical circuit on or off which is mainly used in motor starter circuit okay so basically contractor is a simply we can say it is a electromechanical device or we can say electrical device which is used for switching this circuit we can say with the help of it we can make and break this circuit okay so here we have a contractor okay and this is mcb basically why we use this contractor instead of this mcb because if we talk about mcb so we can only operate this mcb manually however we can operate this contractor automatically so contractor can operate automatic by controlling the contractor coil supply okay that's why we use contractor in motor starter circuit now let's move to construction and working of this contractor okay so here we are on so if we talk about construction of contractor it has main part which is contractor coil so this is the contractor coil okay this one is iron core we can say and over it we have a coil so this is the coil copper coil winding on it okay and here we have a two terminals of this contractor coil one is a1 and another is a2 so this is the real view of contractor coil okay so this is the contractor coil as you can see over here so this is the core and over it this is the copper winding okay copper coils which is wound on the iron core okay here we can connect the power supply as per the contractor rating so here we have a operating voltage of contractor coil this is available in 220 volt ac 110 volt ac and 415 volt ac and 24 volt dc so these are the these are the operating voltage of this contactor coil okay or we can say this contactor okay now if we talk about contactor contacts so there are two types of contactor contacts so one is fixed type so these are fixed type contact okay so here we have taken three pole contactor that's why it has a three fixed contacts okay so this is for input side and this is for output side okay so this these are fixed contact okay and here we have a armature so this one is armature actually okay and here we have also a spring which is attached to this armature and we have also movable contact which is also attached with this armature okay so these three are movable contact for threefold okay so actually this movable contacts actually make or break the circuit as per this contactor coil power supply okay and here we have also auxiliary contact of this contactor so we have a anno normally open contacts and normally closed contacts so these contacts can be used in holding purpose of latching purpose of this contactor or remaining contacts auxiliary contact can be used for monitoring purpose we can connect over here any indicators to monitor the contactor condition whether it is off or whether it is on okay so it's up to you how can use this contact so these are the major components or major parts of this contact okay now let's move to the working of contactor basically how does this contractor work so at right now 
this contactor is in normal condition okay so here we have connected 220 volt ac which is single phase power supply across this contactor coil terminal so at a1 terminal we have connected phase supply or we can say live wire through this push button so this is no push button actually so this is no push button normally open so at right now this is normally open okay and at a2 terminal we have connected neutral supply okay with the help of this black wire okay and at the input terminal of this contactor we have given three phase power supply which is r y and b okay and from the output of this contactor we have directly connected to this induction motor so this is the three phase induction motor and it right now this motor is at a stopped condition okay so at this condition this phase supply is stuck at this input terminal of this no push button okay now when we press this no push button now this push button become a nc it means now it's allow the power flow from input terminal to output terminal that's why this power finally will reach to this a1 terminal now this contactor coil get the power supply hence current will be flowing through this coil hence this contactor coil become a electromagnet or we can say magnet now this contactor coil or this electromagnet pulls the this armature movable armature contact okay towards its coil towards this direction okay so during this condition now this movable contact now connected with this fixed contact so now what happened this contactor will make the circuit it means it switch on the circuit before it was break because it was already here over here now when we give the power supply it pulls this or it attracts this armature movable armature contacts and finally it attached with this fixed contact now at the same time this auxiliary contact also get changed if we talk about ano then it becomes nc at right now and nc become ano at right now okay hence in this condition this contactor allow this three power to flow at output side and finally it is given to the motor and in this condition this motor is at running condition okay because we are still pressing this ano switch means we are still giving the power supply towards this contactor coil okay that's why this is in a running condition so here we have not implemented holding or latching circuit so we'll talk about in next video how to implement holding or latching circuit on contractor okay to permanent hold the contractor okay now this motor is still in running condition okay because this contractor coil is still getting energized okay now when we remove the finger from this ano push button now again this ano push button break the circuit because it becomes again ano now this contactor coil will not get a power supply through this push button hence this electromagnetic coil or contactor coil become demagnetized okay or de-energized hence again this movable armature or movable contacts goes to normal condition okay as you can see over here again goes back to normal condition so in this condition what happened this contactor break the circuit okay because this contactor coil didn't get power supply again at the same time this auxiliary contact also become at a normal condition previous position and finally this motor will also stop because it is not getting power supply from this output terminal of this contactor okay so in this way this contactor works okay here we have a real view of contactor so this is the actually contactor which is made by schneider electric okay so 
this is the terminal l1 l2 l3 where we can connect input supply three phase supply r y b so this is the three fold contactor actually three pole contactor okay where we can connect three terminals over here okay and this is the t1 t2 and t3 so these are the output terminals where we can connect either thermal overload relay or direct to the motors okay and this is the coil terminal a1 and a2 where we can give the power supply as per the rating of contactor coil okay and these are the auxiliary contact 30 number and 40 number is ano contact actually okay so this these are ano contact and this 21 and 22 number is nc contact actually normally close contact okay so this is normally close so these contacts used in holding circuit or to monitor the contractor or any starter circuit okay and this is the two pole contactor okay where we have a two terminals where we can connect live wire or neutral okay so with the help of this we can operate the single phase load okay we can control the single phase load and here we have a a1 and a2 terminals okay where we can connect operating coil voltage okay now if you want more auxiliary contacts then we can add on this contactor so here we have a separate parts which is also available in market which we called add-on block so this is the add-on block if you want to more auxiliary contacts ano and c then we can purchase the add-on block and this part is actually fitted on this contactor at the top of this contact so here we have a lock and we can insert it into that and locked between these two between contactor and add one block so here we can use another no and nc contact so these are the add-on block okay so this is about contractor actually so in this video we have discussed about construction and working of contractors so hope you guys understand about this session in next video i'll come up with holding concept how to implement holding circuit or latching circuit in this contractor okay so thank you for watching this video Please like, share, comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So thank you very much. See you again in next video.